I'm an interdisciplinary artist and my work has been influenced by Charles Darwin's theory, the power of movement in plants. Down House is where Charles Darwin lived and is an English heritage site. This body of work has been influenced through the current gardener's investigations of Darwin and his working practices. Darwin's methods of tracking a plant's movement towards the sun placed a series of beads on the leaves of a plant by aligning a dot that is set on a background board with the beads on the leaves, this becomes a fixed marker and can be used as a point of reference that can be monitored over a period of time and any changes or alterations can be clearly seen and tracked by applying a dot on a lined sheet of glass in front of the plant. The dots on the sheets of glass are then scanned into a computer and transposed into a digital line. The lines and data are then mapped onto a musical score, giving composition ideas to create pieces of music resulting in Darwin's bio-orchestra. The project was put forward to the Arts Council England and was awarded lottery funding to take Darwin's bio-orchestra observations across Luton at 12 important cultural sites earlier this year. Some of the locations were Luton and Dunstable Hospital and Luton Town Football Club, and these were voted for by the public. I collaborated with the Royal College of Music Junior Department's Head of Composition, Simon Spear, to produce a bio-orchestral score of music from Luton's environment. Simon Spear's students have also produced pieces of music influenced by one of the 12 locations. I have also been working with Luton Music Mix, who performed Simon's piece, Turning Towards the Sun, in July alongside senior students from the Royal College of Music. This is the first phase of the bio-orchestra project. My future plan is to collaborate between science, dance, music, art and robotics. My ideas are to develop the tracking of plants through the use of motion sensors and human movement. Music will be composed by the data taken live from the environmental changes, influencing a dancer by the music created by the plants themselves. Dance musical line will be tracked by motion sensors on the dancer and taken into CGI. A computer will instruct a mechanical robotic arm to spray paint directly onto the wall of a gallery, capturing the motion of the dancer. I mean, I've been looking at the idea of doing some kind of cross arts project for some time, actually. So this came. This was pretty good. This this the idea of whereas normally the artist is in control the artist is in control of the art that this was thinking about it another way around and thinking about something else controlling the mark making process or something else controlling the notes make you know, the, the, the pitch and rhythm and dynamic making process of a composer and a musician seeing where that would take our composers and who would respond to that and how they would respond to it in different ways and, and it's worked really well actually because I think I can see it's really interesting I, I can see the, the personalities of all the composers and their own particular voices coming through in the work and yet there's this extra element to it which um, and I'm suddenly I'm hearing well lines and chords and textures and sounds that I don't think they would necessarily have done have made uh, if it wasn't for this added impulse of, of using the data from the plants and the lines that you created from the data from the plants. 